I'll be moderating this module on energy transition of this event, and I'm actually very grateful for the organizers to invite me to try to kind of keep some order in this uh, um, energy community, which is going to be uh, gathered, I hope, uh, during the three days, even though the two days is exclusively us. So uh, just a bit, kind of a context, what we are going to do in this within this module and what is actually happening today. So we had this opening session, which is obviously talking about a key debate in terms of how do we politicize or how we talk about the politics of energy together. Uh, and now we are sep you, have, you have separated to this module, which is dealing with the energy transition. And for today, we have for you two keynote speakers, which are supposed to give you a conceptual framework for people who are new. For some people who have listened to this before, obviously, maybe they'll have some fresh perspectives because people talking are not the same. But to give you actually an overview, conceptual overview and the state of affairs, both in terms of this concept of social justice and how it is applied today and how it functions within the context of energy transition, which is all, I would say, urgent and immediate, some of the, some of the terms we heard in the first session. And then in the second uh, session, we are going to try to look actually at some hard data, to look at state of affairs and energy transition in southeastern Europe. Uh, that's a bit wider than, you know, the geopolitical uh, names of this region changes very often. Now we are Western Balkans, but southeast Europe is a bit wider region and I think reflects better both the participants but also, also the experience we which we want to tap in because that experience in southeastern Europe is still similar. Nevertheless, the Western Balkans is kind of a smaller or narrower, narrower uh, uh, pattern. Uh, so the first session is Georgi Pavicevic. <coughs> He's a professor at the Faculty of Political Science, University of Belgium, political theory. Very active in uh, green and left movements in Serbia. If there is such thing, but there is obviously. But we very often joke about, you know, when are we going to get some higher traction? And I think sign of the traction is the fact that he is also a member of the parliament, uh, 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 of national parliament in Serbia, and kind of represents that kind of step in also doing both things, doing the grassroots, but also trying to find ways in institutions how to bring some of these issues to the fore, how to bring to the wider public, scale it up in media, and so on and so forth. Uh, so he's going to give a talk on climate justice and generally social justice in, 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 in energy transition context. Uh, but also I think the third thing we think is important, why, why we didn't invite him because of that, but we actually found out, that it's going to be now on the 1st of September, just a few days from now, George Povicic actually started his elementary school in this building. Uh, so um, I think that's uh, very important in terms of this is also a local knowledge. So it's not a top down national parliament, but he's actually here from Portugal. So, George, without further ado, you may start. Okay. Yes, I'm a bit nervous because. Uh, actually, on the 1st of the September, it would be 50 years, and I realize now how old I am, and uh, uh, that I have to talk to some people who are not uh, as old as I am, and uh, uh, talking about this climate justice issue. Uh, actually, it is not just about climate justice issue, uh, and my presentation it would be more academic than political, but uh, despite I am a member of parliament, I would be open for some questions and uh, uh, about debates in Serbia about climate, climate justice. Uh, and uh, it would be more about puzzles and obstacles uh, than solutions. I'm sorry about that, but uh, actually I don't have solutions. <laughs> I, 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 uh, nobody. Uh, uh, seen clearly how we can solve this, uh, these problems about climate justice, especially in the context of, context of uh, social, social justice. Uh, next part uh, would be about justice and social justice. And uh, usually when I'm listening to these climate justice uh, lectures, uh, this is the missing point. Actually, uh, I don't know uh, why many of the things I heard on these lectures uh, are and how they are related to, to the uh, issues of justice. Uh, because 
uh, there are many things about politics, about uh, uh, organizing movements, about uh, political uh, battles and fights and so on, but uh, not all of them are related, uh, related to justice. Uh, does we have to be more precise about, about this uh, uh, issue? Uh, further is uh, the specific puzzle about uh, climate justice in relation to, to, to social justice. Uh, it looks like uh, realization of climate justice and realization is social justice is not so much compatible uh, in, many, uh, in many ways. And uh, at the end, I will just present some uh, answers to the Leninist question, what, uh, to, what is to be done and some obstacles for, uh, for this. Uh, and uh, uh, to begin with uh, justice and uh, uh, social justice, I'm, I will go fast and, uh, because I have uh, lots of uh, slides, but I, uh, because it, it was prepared for longer, a longer presentation, longer lecture. Uh, and uh, usually we are uh, making decision, uh, distinction between uh, distributive justice, uh, which have to do something about uh, just shares of the, some goods and some services, uh, and uh, uh, also shares in burdens of, and responsibilities about uh, achieving some uh, social, social goals. Uh, when we are talking about uh, justice, we can talk also about this corrective justice. Corrective justice is uh, actually correction of the injustices and uh, uh, addressing excesses in, in society. And uh, uh, this is the part of the legal processes and law, and we are not going to enter in, in uh, this. But social justice is very specific in uh, in terms that that, that uh, theories of social justice actually addressing uh, the question uh, of what, what is everyone's share uh, in uh, goods uh, and in <clears throat> burdens and responsibilities uh, due to the fact that uh, someone is part of the uh, scheme of uh, social uh, cooperation and assuming that everybody is a part of scheme of uh, social cooperation and not uh, just uh, uh, part of institutional scheme of uh, social cooperation, but in everyday life, actually everybody is doing something uh, as a part of the uh, social social cooperation. And what is also uh, interesting for, for us is this uh, notion of just transition uh, because uh, actually this is the term we are using when we are addressing this issue of transition from uh, one economy to the other and one kind of organization to the, to the uh, other and it, it is usually about uh, burdens and uh, advantages someone get from this process. Uh, and we have to assume that uh, along this process, along this line, uh, we uh, have to avoid to inflict uh, new injustices uh, 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 to some, uh, to some uh, groups. Uh, and uh, uh, when we have also talking about justice, I have to start with uh, this Hume's uh, warning that it is very cautious and very jealous. Uh, jealous virtue in the in, uh, sense that uh, the question of justice not arising everywhere and in every situation. Uh, for example, a uh, question of, of justice is almost impossible to pose and to solve uh, when it's 
uh, when exist the growth inequalities of power. Uh, this is the famous and boring quotation for <laughs> uh, in, uh, with in dialogue with Melians, uh, Athenian dialogue with Melians, when he said, that, okay, those powerful doing what they have to do, and uh, uh, those uh, who are weak have to accept, accept whatever they have to accept. Uh, the history of this dialogue and history of uh, this war, actually, uh, is very sad <laughs> and uh, very tragic. And I'm not going to do uh, to enter in this uh, issue, but just to mention and to keep in mind, uh, and it is important for us and for our struggles uh, that uh, these gross inequalities of in power. Uh, is something very, uh, very important. And uh, uh, when we are demanding justice, we have to keep in mind, keep in mind that. Uh, also, the uh, just solution is not possible in the situations of uh, radical sh uh, shortage of uh, resources. For example, uh, if we don't have enough food for everyone, uh, we are not sharing it. Or, uh, famous example is the saving someone uh, in the lifeboat. Uh, the only just solution is just to flip the coin if you have one or uh, to choose some other kind of lottery who is going to be saved if it is not possible to save uh, all. Uh, also, the question of justice uh, do not arise in the uh, situation of abund abundance of resources. Uh, if we have enough for everyone, uh, uh, there is nothing to share. <laughs> uh, there is nothing to share, and we are not uh, <clears throat> in the situation to use some principles of the sharing some uh, sharing some uh, uh, some things. Uh, communism is a, this kind of situation. I have to admit that I lived two hours in communism <laughs> in the one bar in Novi Sad. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's working in the, this way. Uh, but uh, what are the alternatives we, if we are not striving to organize uh, societies in a just organizing scheme? Uh, actually, we are left with uh, very uh, bad, very bad solutions uh, because uh, then organization of the society depends on the power power relations, uh, and uh, usually we are living in these kind of societies, uh, but uh, it is not always dramatic as it is, and it is uh, very important to have a groups who are fighting to establish some uh, more, more uh, just, just relations. Uh, and uh, to have a, a social justice in one uh, society, we, have, uh, we need some kind uh, of redistributive mechanisms uh, uh, towards some, some group. These are groups, actually, uh, who are usually targeted in uh, theories of uh, social justice, uh, those who are in structurally in just, unjust position. Uh, for example, in Serbia, Roma, uh, Roma population, uh, uh, women workers uh, and so on, and who are uh, very vulner vulnerable to uh, some uh, kind of mistreatment like exploitation, marginalization, deprivation, or uh, poverty. There are also some groups defined by their place in the market and uh, their relation to uh, means of uh, production, uh, actually classes and, and uh, uh, uneducated people are uh, in a very bad, structurally very bad position uh, in the market and we have to uh, 
take care about uh, take care about their, their position and their their opportunities. Uh, uh, more than that, we have uh, to uh, take uh, care also about and establish redistributive mechanism for reduction of gross, inequ gross inequalities in economic and political uh, po power because uh, it would be very, very difficult to have uh, just society uh, inside uh, there is there are uh, gross inequalities among among uh, different uh, different groups and uh, these are also some preconditions uh, for uh, introducing uh, a trust institution in uh, in a, a society and uh, we have also two uh, different kinds of justice in theory. Uh, one is a perfect justice. Uh, these are cases where we have a, a clear and precise procedure how to <coughs> arrive at just outcome, like sharing a cake. Uh, we have a procedure that uh, we can be certain that we will arrive uh, at just outcome if just outcome is equal share for uh, for uh, everyone, first you are giving someone to share cake, and then uh, this one have to choose last, <laughs> the last piece of, uh, last piece of cake. Uh, usually, the uh, solution is uh, per perfect, perfect justice, and perfect outcome. Uh, but uh, <coughs> uh, social and climate justice are not the cases of the. Uh, uh, perfect justice, and uh, uh, we don't have uh, procedures that will, would lead, lead us uh, to outcomes we want, and the best outcomes, for example, in theory or scientifically proved best, uh, best outcomes, and uh, we have to rely on some social mechanisms, uh, like legal system and legal processes, uh, political decision-making processes uh, and uh, political and civic uh, civic activism, uh, but uh, uh, there are no guarantees that we will arrive where we want uh, where we want uh, to arrive, and this is why this problem is so difficult and uh, uh, you know, why uh, we are. We have to fight so fiercely and so long uh, for this uh, this issue. Uh, social justice and climate justice are obvious cases of uh, 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 imperfect imperfect justice. Uh, uh, and uh, when we are trying to apply this on the, uh, some uh, impact of climate and climate change, uh, we have to modify our theories and uh, we have to add something. Uh, it is not true that, for example, that in history, uh, people didn't think about political and social uh, impact of the climate, but that they were not talking about climate change. <laughs> uh, there, uh, there was no idea that humans can, can change uh, climate and that uh, uh, we can intervene in the, uh, in the climate. For example, uh, Baudin uh, uh, think that the good governance is possible only in the temperate climate, uh, climate environment. Uh, it was 16th century. century. Uh, uh, Montesquieu, for example, believes that there are some specific sem uh, temper and specific uh, political culture like related uh, to uh, different climate 
climate types and uh, according to his description and uh, according to facts uh, that uh, uh, we are raising, living in the age with raised temperature uh, and uh, that warming of the planet is going faster and faster, our prospects is not, it's not so good because uh, I extracted just a part about uh, life uh, inside uh, climate environment uh, uh, of the uh, with the high with the high temperature temperatures, and we have to adapt laws uh, and the laws that, that that is also important for for him uh, to the uh, climate. For us, it is much more complicated, complex because we have not just to uh, adjust laws to the climate, but to to climate change. <laughs> As much, uh, uh, it means that uh, we have to uh, uh, count uh, difference uh, in, temper in temperatures in different uh, period of times, and we have to count our impact on the on the on the on the on, the, on this. And uh, when we look uh, at the problem. Uh, uh, we have actually it is not like a pie, but it is uh, similar to the uh, cake. But uh, we have uh, uh, less to share than the full uh, than the full cake, and the problem is uh, for this reason uh, more uh, more complex. Uh, and uh, uh, what is this this puzzle of uh, relation of uh, climate and social justice? Uh, it is that uh, we have uh, suffici sufficiently uh, established correlation between uh, carbon emissions and global rates of uh, temperature or uh, global climate vulnerability of some uh, groups and uh, some uh, reason, regions. Uh, it is scientific, scientifically well proved. Uh, and uh, I, I'm not our, of, of those deniers who actually believe that it, it, this is the natural cycle in climate change. Uh, uh, and uh, we are adding something to uh, this vulnerab vulnerability uh, of uh, different groups every day. Uh, every day by uh, using uh, some products and uh, uh, using some benefits of this uh, carbon civilization. <laughs> Uh, exactly, <laughs> it is what, uh, what we are. Uh, but uh, also there is very uh, well established uh, correlation between uh, carbon emissions and economic, economic growth and uh, also development and uh, standard of, uh, standard of uh, living. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and the other complication is that uh, this economic growth, uh, wealth, and the climate vulnerability are not equally distributed. Uh, so we have uh, three different theses that are not so compatible. According to first, we have to reduce carbon emissions. According to second, we have uh, also to reduce carbon emission, but uh, also to reduce uh, economic development and economic growth. And according to third, this reduction should, would be unequal. Uh, and uh, this is the problem for the, uh, for the justice of the uh, many solutions uh, in uh, many so proposed solutions uh, for uh, the problem of uh, raising of uh, temperatures. Uh, 
Uh, and these are some evidence about, uh, about this. This is about uh, developing countries and that it is clear that uh, raising of uh, carbon and uh, that there is a correlation be because of the carbon uh, emissions and uh, economic uh, growth. Uh, also, this is the uh, evidence of uh, unequal distribution of uh, vulnerability and uh, emissions between north of the planet and south of the uh, south of the planet uh, and uh, uh, this is a, uh, the same but in historical uh, his, historical uh, perspectives. So it is obvious that we have a, this kind of uh, problem and this kind of, uh, of uh, puzzle. Uh, and uh, if we are going uh, this way, and then if we are going as we are uh, going, we are uh, in the risk to, of triple justice done to some, uh, to some, uh, to some group, groups, because it is, uh, uh, it is uh, obvious that most vulnerable to uh, negative impacts of climate change uh, are those who bear a little responsibility for, for uh, uh, climate, climate change. Uh, the second one is that uh, uh, those who are most vulnerable also do not have enough resources to deal, uh, to deal with. Uh, and uh, we can add uh, the third possible injustice that uh, if we are applying some solutions, uh, uh, we have to actually burden those uh, who are already poor uh, with uh, more <coughs> uh, more burden and burdens, and uh, these solutions have negative. Uh, impact of, of for the those who are already worst off. Uh, uh, and uh, many of the uh, solutions uh, have a problem to avoid uh, all elements of this triple, uh, possible triple injustice is uh, in uh, the situation of uh, climate, climate change. Uh, of of course, theoretically, we have uh, suggestions how to solve the problem, uh, and there are some mm. principles, and uh, uh, there is all these principles are uh, very reasonable. They're philosophical, of course, and I'm not going uh, to elaborate them, but, but uh, uh, actually, uh, for transition, uh, uh, have to, polluters have to pay, uh, beneficiaries have to pay, uh, but uh, we have a problem because some of the polluters and uh, beneficiaries uh, cannot pay because maybe they are not alive anymore. Or, uh, they are uh, now poor. Uh, and that said uh, that uh, those who are able to pay have to, uh, have to pay. Uh, and usually it is defended uh, by this uh, historical injustices uh, argument that uh, those who are able to pay are wealthy people and those who are wealthy people uh, used to be beneficiaries of the uh, past carbon past carbon uh, emissions. And uh, for this reason, it is justified to burden, to burden them with this uh, <coughs> obligation to uh, pay. And to pay for what? Uh, this is also important uh, questions. But uh, in the 
reality we have that Spain is not so this not so easy uh, and it is actually difficult uh, uh, this is the table with countries uh, who are committed to play, to pay some amount of money uh, for solving of uh, climate problems and uh, uh, the percentage is not so good. The, for example, the uh, United States are, is on the bottom. Uh, and many rich countries actually uh, do not pay enough for, for, uh, for this. Uh, on the other side, earning is very, uh, uh, very good. Uh, actually, these dirty industries uh, making uh, more profits than ever, for example. For example uh, this is for 2022, I think, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, many of uh, these uh, who have to uh, uh, pay for the solution actually making money and uh, not uh, out of uh, using all technologies, all technologies, all uh, and, uh, all, all sources, and uh, making situation uh, uh, worse. Uh, this is the same, uh, but per unit, not uh, gross capita, uh, and. Uh, uh, the question is also uh, what is to be done and uh, what we are paying for actually if we are decide to pay whether we are paying for uh, just for uh, adaptation uh, damage is done and what to do uh, we have maybe to try to adapt ourselves to the new situation and uh, to try to survive in this way. And this is, uh, uh, in uh, this scenario, uh, there, is a little, there is a little room for justice uh, or for uh, just solution because uh, it is uh, usually defended by cat this, uh, catastrophic scenarios we have uh, to do something, damage is done, and uh, we cannot demand just solutions, uh, but only solutions for uh, what, is, what is going on. Uh, uh, also, uh, the problem is uh, when we are asking for recovery compensation or for some kind of alleviation of consequences because, because we have to produce more, uh, produce more to uh, recompensate some people uh, for their, uh, uh, their losses. Uh, and uh, similar is uh, with this uh, historical compensation. It is too complex to deal with. Uh, and and it, it is impossible to entangle who uh, did what and how much contribute to the uh, situation uh, we have. And usually uh, we are dealing just with uh, just transition and uh, uh, transformation of energy sector or uh, some uh, economy uh, or economy. Uh, and uh, we are looking for some modest, more modest solution, not systematic, uh, systematic solutions uh, for the uh, problem. And this is a, these are some proposals. For example, this one is a, uh, proposals of Mary Robinson uh, Foundation. foundation. Uh, uh, they uh, think that we have still a room for uh, some activities and for some changes. Uh, one is that we have to give a voice to the most affected. The second is uh, 
transformation of economic system. It looks uh, uh, too demanding in this uh, way, but uh, uh, if we are using some uh, political and legal uh, means, it is not impossible in this, in, in this way. Uh, uh, also, uh, what we need, according to them, is a new investment model. Uh, that if you are read the literature about that, uh, you can see a, a huge disagreement about, among economists what is a new investment model. Uh, for example, Peja uh, is for some kind of the, this degrowth, degrowth model. Other are going, uh, Varoufakis, for example, is for a huge investment in uh, new technologies. Uh, and uh, Amartya Sen and the others are, as always, in, bet in, in, in between. Uh, uh, also, the other uh, things think we need is uh, increases of likelihood of strong commitments uh, being made. Uh, uh, all countries already made some commitments. For example, uh, our president uh, went to the uh, in Paris, in Paris. He, he went in Paris and uh, uh, he organized a press conference and said, we are going to reduce uh, carbon emissions uh, for 50% until 2050. Uh, seven or eight years ago, uh, uh, after seven and eight years after, we do, uh, still do not have a plan. <laughs> we still, still do not have a uh, strategy for uh, uh, climate and uh, uh, energy transformation. Uh, uh, this uh, commitment needs uh, a strong international international institutions, uh, and uh, unfortunately, something is happening uh, in uh, these days. And but it is not uh, it is not uh, obviously enough. Uh, also, uh, they are suggesting, suggesting this sector protection of law for uh, vulnerable communities. Uh, it also needs a change in international law. Uh, uh, and uh, it is difficult to see how we can manage to do that uh, uh, in a short period of time uh, without uh, making uh, more uh, more damage. Uh, and also, uh, at the end of the declaration, they uh, said, but we need transformative leadership. Uh, transformative leadership is a precondition for, uh, to do that. Uh, I, I don't know or, uh, any transformative leader and, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the moment uh, in any uh, any state, uh, maybe Obama was, but not so transformative as we were expecting. Uh, expecting, and uh, for example, Mary Robinson uh, was the one, but she was a, a prime minister during the 90s, uh, and uh, uh, was not able to do uh, much. Uh, uh, if you uh, take, for example, uh, just the transition mechanism of EU, uh, this is the only part about uh, citizen. It actually they are uh, demanding less than uh, Mary, uh, Mary Robinson Foundation. Uh, and these uh, are mainstream policies and not systematic uh, systematic changes. And uh, at the end, I have to say, oh. <coughs> uh, I'd like just to list some uh, obstacles we have uh, 
on the road to, to uh, <coughs> climate justice. Uh, we have this uh, problem of historical, historical responsibility and uh, it is very strong uh, in, undeveloped, in undeveloped countries. For example, in, in Serbia, uh, our leaders usually using this uh, during, uh, using this argument, uh, and uh, uh, expectation is that uh, wealthy countries uh, have to pay everything, and that they have to uh, lower their living standards and uh, lower their economies, uh, and to redistribute some of this uh, to the. Uh, Poor, poorer countries, and it is mm, not realistic solution in, uh, at, at the moment. Uh, uh, also, what we have is a, some kind of lack of lack of solidarity uh, among the leaders as well as among the groups and countries, uh, people in the countries. Uh, uh, Everybody, or not everybody, but many, uh, don't like to share the burden and responsibility, uh, and, uh, but uh, they share the goal <laughs> uh, to uh, decrease the carbon and uh, greenhouse gases emissions. Uh, uh, also, uh, what is the uh, problem is uh, too many false solutions. Uh, there are scientific, some scientific disagreement about uh, what would be a proper solution, but uh, a very big political disagreement about what would be uh, a proper solution and uh, I don't know how uh, it is possible to solve without some kind of uh, open communication between uh, uh, those, pers uh, those perspectives. But uh, when you see uh, political camps, uh, it is a very deep division between those who are suggesting one or another, uh, another, another solutions. Uh, the problem is also that uh, I usually uh, uh, those solutions are coming from the North perspective, perspective of uh, wealthy countries and uh, past beneficiaries of the carbon emissions and uh, uh, those uh, who would not suffer uh, so much of of, uh, of uh, clim climate change. Uh, also, the problem is to this urge or emergency to do uh, uh, to do some, something. How emergent it is, I don't know exactly. Uh, and uh, uh, many of the scientists think we have a disagreement how how emergent emergent is, uh, and it, it is changing every day. Uh, but uh, something is happening, and we have to do something, uh, something uh, fast. But this this demand for uh, emergency uh, is not uh, always a friend of the good uh, good solution. Uh, also, we are stuck with. These uh, political processes, <laughs> uh, who, uh, which are as they are, uh, and uh, it is the, uh, very difficult to negotiate uh, just uh, just solution for the problem, uh, especially if the, this uh, just solution uh, demands some kind of systematic uh, systematic change as is in some important field, as it is the case in economy, for example. Uh, we have to uh, make some people to uh, 
make less money <laughs> to, to uh, have less resources and to use less, less resources for uh, their uh, uh, enjoyment. Uh, and uh, we are not usually powerful enough to, uh, to uh, do that. Uh, and uh, last uh, but not least, it is uh, uh, maybe the strong social pressure is also uh, important mean to achieve some uh, goals, but uh, we don't have some coherent and consistent strategy how to achieve how to achieve this even in the uh, meetings like this we are here uh, different uh, different approaches and different strategies and uh, different appreciations uh, which one is the uh, is the uh, best the best one and uh, okay I'm, I'm not going to uh, show these pictures and uh, but uh, uh, the, the political dynamics uh, including the, this war in uh, Ukraine and uh, uh, everything that is happening about uh, new political divisions in the world is not so promising for the some uh, some uh, global solution. Uh, okay, thank you. And if you have any questions, great. Uh, uh, Georgia, thank you. Uh,